All right, so this is a cool root app called Screencast. It allows me to record onto um, b direct video of my screen. Now, um, it's for rooted device only. Um, right now, I'm running a new Sense 5 port that's uh, Jelly Bean 4.12. Or 4.1.2 um, HTC version sense is uh, 5 and then um, I just think this is an awesome ROM and an awesome little app um, the ROM itself is uh, sense 5 isn't even actually released for the Evo 4G LTE yet um, I just happened to um, be a member on xdadevelopers.com and it's just cool the home screen is is set up with um, a really much more simple layout than normal sense um, um, it's pretty cool I can choose to unlock uh, and um, go directly to my blink feed with this or I can unlock to where my last what my last uh, app that was open um, I can drag the individual icons just up to open up like my phone or open up my no, I'll do it again. open up my um, one of my folders that I have my connect folder um, now this is cool when you go on the into the app drawer um, you can choose to have them even in alphabetic order. You can set up uh, custom, uh, and you can drag drag the icons into each other and create little folders, which is pretty cool. Um, you were able to do that on Sense Four um, and the other variants of it, but you had to be on the home screen to do it. So now you can do it in the app drawer, and then you can drag this anywhere. You can drag it, you know. But um, essentially, you can also. Um, it's pretty cool if you go into like MMS options and um, go into uh, settings here in general, and then. Uh, custom background image and choose whatever um, I'll just use my uh, nah, not my electronics here, yeah, my drums, that's cool and then resize it, it's, I think it's just pretty cool oh, there we go, there we go there we go pretty nifty, I like it and then uh, done and then if I go into my MMS now, um, it'll have that as the uh, background. It's pretty neat. Um, and that's all baked in th directly from Sense. That's not even a, a, a thing. Now, somebody, somebody did theme this version, uh, so it looks like ICS Blue or Ice Cream Sandwich Blue. Um, if we go into my customize the home screen, I can add different tabs to my home screen and different widgets actually that's a much cooler calculator that they added let me get rid of this one and move and then long press I like that calculator much cooler calculator and that in this next build here but uh, you can just see it's got some cool um, some cool widgets that you can can put my Google Drive on that one. That's cool. And then uh, get your, your normal stuff. My Play Library, my Google Play. I'll put my Kernel Tuner over here. Um, yeah, I'm just overall like really impressed with the way they slim down. Um, they slim down the 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 sense, so it, it just seems to it just seems to um, be a lot cleaner and and more responsive. 
Um, one thing they I wish that they would do is do a, a 3D rosy. Because uh, now I'm getting stuck. Uh, I can't go. Like they wouldn't. The, somebody's. This is an early port, so it's gonna take some time for them to be able to encode. But uh, overall, super duper impressed. Um, some people don't like the blink feed. It's called where it puts up. But what you can see is you notice there's like three different main panels. It's this one this one and then this one and then they'll resize them every time so now you now we have four panels and then they're in that configuration you notice the size of the rectangles and then you go down again and this this part's pretty cool too you can actually go in here and choose <coughs> different sources for your blink feed I have like as much as possible but minus like the dumb stuff I don't like but I, I mean I, I I like to know like what's going on around the world let's see what's looking around in the Middle East it seems to be a hot topic so you just click on Middle East it'll update <coughs> and then bring up all the news topics and all the related stuff that even comes off of Facebook um, if you like any of your Facebook feeds that have like the alternative press maybe or whatever it'll just have like and then there are direct links to um, direct links to the stories pretty cool It'll come up and um, you can choose to share that story with you know wherever you want um, so yeah overall super duper impressed um, I like it um, what I'm really, in, um, I really like to be able to do is um, get a look, just a little bit more customization going on in the ROM itself. They seem to be stuck with this, um, which is good. Your extended quick settings, they have that. That's not a stock thing. Um, that's kind of mimicking a, a program called Widgetsoid, or an app called Widgetsoid, where you can put like your your shortcuts up here for your Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and data, um, auto rotate, and auto brightness, and airplane mode, and all that stuff. They used to have in the old Sense ROMs in, in uh, uh, ICS and Gingerbread builds. They had your quick down settings. They had a tab over here that would have like all of this stuff all lined up in a nice pretty. Um, like horizontally it would have it all like nice up and pretty but um but yeah totally awesome awesome job by the de by the developers i know it's, they've been taking a lot of time to develop this now i believe i have in my kernel tuner now this is a modified version of kernel tuner um oh look how low it's set oh my goodness oh look at that it's like pretty much two gigahertz <laughs> max, and I have my I have a arc reactor based off of Iron Man. <laughs> it's called the arc reactor kernel. It's pretty cool. Um, and now it should just like be really really fast. Yeah, super duper. As I say that, it now we're settling in. Takes a second or two for the uh, for the kernel settings to, yeah. Kernel tuner has been granted super, super user rights. Yes, now it's a lot smoother, like it wasn't before. <laughs> um, I don't know if I can resize this or not. Can we edit that? Edit. No. Sometimes with the, some of the widgets, you're able to actually like. Um, adjust the size and the shape. Let's see if I can do it with this one. Yeah, there's no edit feature. Sometimes some of the widgets I know in Sense Four you could resize them and shrink them down if you wanted to. None of these you seem to be able to. But uh, but yeah, a little bit more theming to go, and and we'll be set. Um, they need to fix a couple of things on this ROM. They need to fix Bluetooth. And they need to fix um, bursty images with the camera. Uh, if you try to take m more than two, it freezes the camera APK, and then bam. Um, you got to restart the shell, do a hot reboot. They, uh, 
they offer a lot of different restart modes you can see all the different modes that they that they give you uh, eventually they'll theme all of these icons into something you know since this is an early version I mean this phone's not even supposed to have this yet there wasn't even an OTA release from Sprint so but uh, we'll see how this video turns out um, this is my first real attempt at it and um, man my phone is really hot right now so yeah I'm gonna do that so I hope you enjoyed the little preview of Sense 5 on the Evo 4G LTE and uh, this is the real boot signing off